Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Void Fox, and I'm taking a look at Groundskeeper 2. It's an action-packed 2D arena shooter roguelite, uh, where you control a funky purple-haired rootin' tootin' shootin' girl uh, who traverses different worlds to fight aliens and unlock new stages, weapons, power-ups, and other types of enemies along the way. So we're just going to jump right into this. Uh, this is a game done by Orange Pixel, and all the details are below in the in the details section of the video. So we're just going to go ahead and start a game. And right off the bat, you'll notice, you know, it's simplicity. Uh, it's, it's basically a pick-up-and-play game. Not really much to to figure out other than you go left, right, shoot, and jump. Those are your controls. That's basically it. And your objective here is just to kill everything you can. We got we got a shield there. It looks like we're all armored up. Nice. Uh, basically, shoot anything that moves or that tries to kill you uh, in one life. And there's a gun there. Sweet. We got this cool rocket, crazy ass gun. Obviously, the heart above you is your life. Uh, oh my goodness, I just lost a whole bunch. Not good. Get that shield. I'm gonna find some hearts. And you collect these uh, bits and bit. Bits and bobs, I think they're called. Bits and bobs, or something crazy. Things that the enemies drop. Let's get that triple gun. And the more you play, the more type of items and, and weapons you have to unlock. Holy moly, what is that? And you'll see that uh, on the top of the screen, it's counting how many people I've killed. You need to get to a certain uh, a certain number in order to... Oh, what? To make it to the next stage. So we're just going to keep going here. So once that portal uh, beam of light presents itself, you can go ahead and hop in there and, and get to the next stage. And basically you just keep doing that uh, until you die, right? So right now we just, we, we need a weapon. We got a stupid we got a stupid uh, regular gun here. So I, I've, I've played this just a little bit just to get the controls down. Uh, the game does have partial controller support. Uh, you just go into the options and you can remap your your controller to the key. So I'm using an Xbox 360 controller currently and it's working just fine. No problem. Although you have to use the uh, the analog. You can't use the the digital pad. Oh, okay. Let's get that shield cuz I don't know what the hell that thing is. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize how stay they get the teleporter. Nice. See, you don't have to do the teleporter. Okay, that thing bounces. So you want to do it from afar and kill it. I want to get that shovel gun which is now gone. Oh, there we go. Take that out, grab that shield, click that heart, watch out for those, whoa, more bouncing bullet things. So you can see it's a, you know, it's a, it's a sort of really easy to master, or not master, so really easy to pick up and play. Oh, it's not based off the number of enemies you kill, it's based off the number of bits and bobs you collect. So I'm just going to go ahead and stand on this and get out of here. Grab that shield. And you just do this and you, and you see if you can beat your score, I think my best is 192. Uh, based on the limited time I've had to play with it. Uh, boy, oh wow, look at that. Okay. We're going to kill that thing. Come on. Come on, kill it. Whoa, whoa, bouncy ghost thing. So you see, there's a various uh, various types of enemies. The face are skeletons. Oh, I've unlocked something. Oh, what is this? Sweet. So I've unlocked something cool. I don't know I don't know what that was. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... It's not a permanent upgrade, it seems. Uh, maybe it's an item that can drop and you can pick it up. Like, see how those, uh, oh, I'm about to die. Yeah, that's it. Game over. 160. My best is 192. No. <laughs> Not amazing. So if you uh, go to your options, you see extra. So there you go. This, those are the things you can unlock. Uh, looks like there's about 10 items uh, currently. And I've unlocked three of them. So I don't know what those uh, bottom ones are. They look like gloves, maybe, or maybe boots. Right? So it looks like you have weapons, you have shields. You have buffs. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go again. So, oh, so portal that 50 bits and bobs. Bits and bobs, or whatever they're called. These these little gear pieces that enemies drop when you kill them. So every 50, uh, the portal opens. I should have known that, of course. But I jumped right into the action. I got excited. I wanted to play it as soon as possible. It handles well. Uh, the controls are tight. I mean, simple. I mean, it's, it's hard not to... Well, I don't know if it would be hard not to make this... <laughs> Uh, have tight controls, but it, it definitely plays well. Uh, everything reacts. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's just a new type of gun. I didn't read what it what it was. 
but it's a new a new weapon type. There's a shield. I want that. Basically, it gives me a free. Uh, I get to get hit once for free, I suppose. Whoa! Or a few times it looks like. So there we go. We got our bits and bits and bobbies, and here we go. Still got our shield on. I'm not sure if the weapons are, are random from these crates. I'll have to pay attention to see where the next one pops up, or if they just pop up randomly. Uh, just sort of. Oh yeah, that looked like it just popped up randomly. So at intervals, maybe at set in intervals or random intervals, the uh, items can appear. Gangsta style. Is that what it said? Gangsta style. <laughs> oh yeah, because it, oh it's pistols. Yeah, it's dual. Pi <laughs> bam, 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 dual pistols. That's what that was. Let's get the shield. Whoa, look out. So we're at six health. We got a shield. Ooh. I don't know if you can kill that crazy ass worm thing. Triple gun. I like this one because it sort of it spreads and just shoots like crazy. So far, I'm a fan of that one. Wow, that thing just gangster style. We are in desperate need of health. Oh wow, this is this is what could be GG right here. Get me out of here! Oh wow. So every time you get to the portal, uh, which is good to know, uh, you you uh, get full health. So you saw there that I was pretty much on my deathbed. But we made it. Looks like those boxes might contain uh, uh, hearts, health, which is good. I am just... Oh, I got stuck there. Okay, here we go. So we're just going to go through that. So yeah, you go up to nine nine health when you, uh, when you pour it. So that's good. Get that shield. So it's quite simple. Quite simple. But it, it, it's definitely got that, you know, uh, uh, one more time. I'm going to play this one more time, one more round kind of appeal to it. Right? Try to beat your old high score and... Things like that. So I, I want to beat my score of 192, which <laughs> I'm sure is pretty pathetic compared to uh, what what regular players of this game have achieved. Um, oh! Oh my! I got greedy. I tried to run for the shield. 192, I can't beat it. I am. This sucks. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this again. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, so you can see various backgrounds, various worlds you, you travel to. Uh, I guess the the further you go, the more type of stages you unlock. Um, I haven't really been paying attention to the background because, uh, well, it's not the most important thing here. I need to kill everything on screen at the end of the day. So we need to collect more of these things. And go give me that triple gun. I love this thing. Taka taka taka, bitches. Okay, we're almost there at 50. Yeah, those boxes look like they always drop hearts. That's good to know. Uh, here's a couple more pieces here. So it's just GTFO. Let's get that shield. Ooh! That's the thing that killed me last time. No, thank you. Gangsta style! I don't even know if that's what it says. I'm not even paying attention, honestly. If it is, that's badass. We're doing okay so far. Get that shield. Definitely want that. Oh, enemies can go through that, but we can't. Through that giant mechanical arm thing that pops down out of nowhere. Uh, wow, that was close. Get me out of here! Beat me up, Scotty! <laughs> I can just imagine that's what's actually happening. It's that science dude that's uh, that's beating us up, I think, that we saw in, when we die on the death screen. There are cutscenes, so I think if you get past certain milestones... Yeah, it is gangsta style. If you get past certain milestones, it uh, there's little cutscenes. So I've seen a couple already. And you can uh, you can review them in the uh, option menu. You can you can review all the animations from previous or previous cutscenes. You know, if you so please, if you're into that sort of thing. Frankly, I just want to kill alien ass. Pew, pew, pew! So pretty simple. Pretty simple game. But it's fun. I mean, like, uh, what does this game go for? I think it goes for like five bucks or something. And it's on like every platform you can think of. It's on iOS. It's on PC. Uh, it's on Android. Let's get that gun. I wonder if it carries over. Let's find out. BBS. Yes, it does. Um, yeah, PC, Android, the Chrome Store... Uh, and on iOS platforms, you can get on iTunes as well. I think it's cheaper on iOS and, and uh, Android. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, actually. I can't remember the prices. But I know for the PC, it's about five bucks. So, if you got five bucks to spare, I mean, uh, by all means, uh, you want to just sort of chill out and, and just do some mindless uh, high score, sort of beat your own leaderboard kind of thing. That'd be cool if this game had a leaderboard, um, like an online leaderboard. That'd be pretty sweet. But it does not. I don't know if it does in the mobile versions. Holy crap, how did I How did I get so much bad health in this? Oh, get me that heart! 
we need more. Let's get that shield. It's such that's such clutch. Ooh. Oh god, where are the boxes? Looks like they drop less and less. Oh boy, this is uh, there's a box. We need that desperately. Oh, beam us up. Ooh, <laughs> we're getting close. We're getting close. Gangster style. Oh boy, that is hurting me big time. There we go. Bombs from the sky. That's like a guaranteed uh, health loss. I don't like that whatsoever. So enemies are starting to come uh, come at an increased rate here. I'm gonna get this guy. I'm gonna get greedy. Beat me up! Beat me up! <laughs> I beat my score. Uh, wow, I was not good. This is not good. Get that shield. Got a balance here between left and right. Oh, I got it. Will that work? There we go. Oh my goodness! Thank goodness I had the uh, armor. The shield item that helps. There's another one. I'll take that. Oh boy. You're messing with me. Okay, get me out of here. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we're good. Oh, what the hell was that? That hurt. This could be the end. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Crush the scenery. I don't know how that happened. Give me that heart. Oh, no! The, <laughs> the worm got me, but I beat my score. Amazing. So I beat my score. Uh, we didn't unlock anything new that run, even though I beat my score. Damn you, Orange Pixel. Why do you do this? Anyway, I feel like playing this some more. Uh, but I think this gives us a good, quick look at Groundskeeper 2. Uh, I recommend it for those who just sort of want a good, casual time, who just need to uh, maybe have like 5-10 minutes to play something. It's a great lunch break game. Uh, you can also check out Orange Pixel's other game that's available on the PC, currently anyway, uh, called Heroes of Loot. That's another good lunch break game. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys on a flippity-flop.